to another video of Epic Heroes, save as many animals as you can, and in the end, you should be saving yourself and your heroes. Anyway, for this one, we're focusing on, hmm, what heroes should I use or build early in the game as a new player? New player struggles in actually understanding what heroes he should focus on and build that actually benefits him in going through X-War. In going through Quantum Invasion, Dimensional Battle Hub Trials, Championship, Void Championship, Arena, and Galaxy Wanted Time Travel Area. You, as you can see, it's very big and very expanding when it comes to a new player of what exactly, what heroes, which heroes. Okay, one of the new additions, if you haven't noticed in the game, and if you go to the Summoning Tower and you click on Advice, it will give you some advice to help you to understand heroes that when you're starting in the game, actually having them or building them can actually make a difference. Wow! Anyway, if we click on view, it will show you six heroes. And for now, for this part of the video and for this direction, we will focus on... Well, these six heroes and give additional recommendations. When you're starting off in the game, you want heroes that actually will last throughout the entire game, excluding Mother of Swarm, Sally. But early in the game, she will be beneficial for you. Remember, top players of, or players who have been playing long enough in the game. I know, but the main point is some of these heroes, when you're starting early in the game, can benefit you and will last across the game throughout your playing. Tuku would be the number one hero we're looking at when you're just starting in the game to build her. Next will be of course 100% the general of rescue as you can see that beautiful hot mustache where he's half human, half machine, half android, half insanity walking through. He will benefit you early in the game but later in the advanced game he will be close to useless almost fully anyway the different heroes you will see that there is some type of description to help you to understand what they can do strong burst through damage strong initiator with area of attack damage front row area of attack damage isn't the front row area of attack damage because you can attack multiple enemies at the same time three enemies and at the same time you can put him in number one and he's a good meat shield early in the game because of his high armor burst the highest single target damage burst attacker tuku she is used mainly for the point of one of her attacks slices through the enemy repetitively by pursuit follow up pursuit and shadow pursuit yes they're all pursuit amazing now another one for the number one lineup number one place the super tank super critical tank used as a meat shield can actually do some decent damage early in the game mecha rex rex boy is something good if you have him build up early in the game he will benefit you later in the game if you don't have one of his skins it becomes less and less helpful useless until you actually never use him or until you decide to buy the skin and then he's less useless so you can use him again Anyway, aside from the six selections, you can actually click on the icons below to learn more of the attacks the hero can do. As you can see, they've really outdone themselves when it comes to the illustration. And also, if you're not aware, there are a ranking for heroes of S+, plus ranked heroes, and S, ranking of the hero. All of these heroes, except Mother of Swarm, is at S+, plus ranked including general rescue so should be actually s plus but ah it doesn't really make the cut because it's too weak so only two are s ranked and the rest are s plus ranking now by opening here this area you can actually collect 600 blue diamonds from looking at each one of these portraits you can actually also click to, click on obtain from and it will show you the area or the place where you can get that specific hero and you will need multiple copies to awaken that hero. So the recommendation of course 100% start with Tuku, General of Rescue, start building Storm Falcon early in the game, get uh, some advancement across other players who've just started in building up Storm Falcon and building up Mother of swarm sally and also building up queen of desert 
Queen of Desert will really help you to advance through X War with a mixture of these fantastic looking three. Overall, this is kind of the first recommendation you can actually go for if you're just starting early in the game. In addition to that recommendation, we highly recommend you to focus some of your time when you're just starting in the game on Rockefeller. Rockefeller will be a nice hack trick to stun the enemy during your playing in X War. Because of his stunning ability, Tuku and the rest of your heroes will have a chance to attack, kill the enemy, uh, allowing you to win and advance in X War. So Rockefeller makes the cut for early selections in the game and he will become less useful across time. Next selection, Silas. Silas, you will mainly need him for the Queen of Desert in early stages because he slows her down and reduces her damage where Tuku and the rest of your heroes can take them out. Another hero that 100% you'll need to consider when you're inter in the intermediate stages of the game after you've built some of your heroes and keep upgrading the Spirit Link level, the God Slayer. Folklore, 100% you will need him. Another thing you can do is ignore some of the previous selections and focus on building your fury wave early in the game. He will make a difference. Houston, Dimensional Runner, you will need him forever actually in the game. Another thing that can help you to top up against people playing early in the game is actually building up Space Kong Com. Uh, the Space Monkey pretty much. One thing he can benefit you aside from uh, the speed increase for Tuku and the rest of your heroes, the attack, the reflection of the damage, is when you give him the 9 relics you can actually increase your allies attack amazingly in battle by 30% and speed by 30% which helps you to be faster in battle by being faster in battle you will attack first by attacking first you'll be able to kill them faster so Com actually is beneficial for you to use. Next thing, if you're just early in the game, use Afra for HP recovery. The armor that she has early in the game and her ability not to be killed so easily if you're early in the game, it will help your heroes to last longer in battle by gaining that HP recovery. Now, to summarize all the insanity of our selections and actually something you can look at as a lineup, Okay, so we're talking about a number of heroes. Tuku, okay. And that would be a good portion of the heroes we're talking about that you should actually work on early in the game. Next of the heroes we're talking about that can actually benefit you early in the game. And we stop for a second to add the heroes of selection when it comes to your early in the game and you want to know well heroes you can use and adding them in what we can consider a sort of a lineup ish kind of uh, definitely needs better selections but the main point is these are the heroes I would recommend if you're early in the game and you want a good portion of heroes you can build and will last you across your gameplay of the game uh, some of them will lose their strength and uh, support for you 100% will go bye bye very fast 100% without the skin and you building Rex right Psh, you will dislike using him the rest of the heroes they will last you across the game Afro also will go Psh, a little bit the more you advance in X war and across the game it's not going to be the same because the enemy is getting stronger while your main hero has a limitation. So this would be the selection of heroes. I'm not talking about the lineup mainly. I'm talking about the heroes. Selection of heroes that you can focus on if you're early in the game to actually build and grow. Now moving on uh, for where, where, where can I get these heroes? Okay, for starters, you will have to focus heavily on the star store or the star track. Okay, why would I do that? Because you have Rockefeller where you can get a copy from here. You have Houston where you can get a copy from here. You have Einstein and you have Afra. So these four, 100% you'll need to depend early in the game of trying to get copies from here. Next thing is the Legend Mall. When you start off in the game, the silver metal uh, kind of sucks. So you need to focus on your selections of heroes from here that you will gain copies from. 100% you'll have to suck it up and go with Eddie, go with 
Dimension Runner Houston, go with General of Rescue and go with Einstein and just endure until you enter into the gold metal counter and then go for Medusa and after you've won for Medusa, Lady Ivy, the Gonable selection also and then after you've advanced more and went to the diamond section of the Legendary Championship, Tuku, Medusa again, Gonable, Thinker and Mother of Swarm. The main point is you're gonna yeah, progressively have to build your heroes copy by copy until you've entered into the Dominator and then you can start building the Fury Wave, the God Slayer, Electric Arc, Indira, Lucas, Demon of Contract and the rest of the heroes you see here. So in Progressive you need to focus first on a limitation, a small number of heroes, expand more uh, also, when it comes to the, the, the Tuku specifically, sorry, Tuku, you're going to have to rely on the Blood Frazel when you're just starting in the game to get a copy for her when it comes to specifically Tuku. And you can find her in the Decomposition Store, Blood Frazel. Blood Frazel is gained by destroying B ranked heroes. B ranked heroes come from the Summoning Tower, just as you saw, he was a B ranked. It gives you the blood frazzle by destroying him pretty much destruction of heroes comes from the recycling station and it comes from the hero decomposition as you can see here if you have selected this option as soon as you get one of the heroes that are b common heroes in the game if you don't know what a b common hero is scroll down he is the ordinary hero that you will not be able to use in battle at a certain stage once you advance it and have become stronger so these heroes are automatically destroyed by selecting that option giving you their blood or blood phrasal which you'll use to collect and exchange for Tuku. Another thing when you're early in the game, try to complete the monthly quest, focus on getting repetitive copies of the same hero, Tuku for instance, Tuku 1 Tuku from here, 1 Tuku from the decomposition store and uh, well, as many Tukus from the Selection S Plus Hero Selection card, if you gain one of those, and eventually you start, you will start awakening your hero throughout the different stages until your hero reaches the awakening of Immortal. That would be their strongest state of awakening. Awakening goes through different stages from Excellent to Epic, Epic Plus, Legendary, Legendary Plus, Mythic, Mythic Plus, Transcend, Transcend Plus, Transcend Plus Plus, and then finally Immortal. And after you've done that large mess of awakening, remains one last thing, which is awakening the skill. Skill awakening pretty much will require the hero to reach Immortal first, and after that you can awaken their skill. It pretty much will give them an extra boost of HP or a critical or something for uh, the beginning of the battle. By doing that, Okay, your heroes will actually be more stronger in X War and across the game. And that would be pretty much the selection I would recommend. Focus on the basic heroes you can get, which is Tuku at the beginning. Focus on building Storm Falcon if you can. Focus on building Queen of Desert also. Focus on the General of Rescue as a selection as a hero early in the game. Uh, he'll benefit you to just advance just as a beginning. Houston also, Lady Ivy when you're struggling and you need something to twine them and stop the enemy from attacking. Same scenario for HP, you would go with Afra and the rest of the information you already know. Alright guys, overall it will take time. It will take time to awaken your heroes, it will take time to power up, it will take time to advance through X War, so be patient. And also you can always follow a direction of pay to win. Paying to win will allow you to just ignore everything I said, awaken your heroes faster, and become much, much stronger in a shorter period of time. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. This one was, well, some advice related to the heroes you can use early in the game to help you. And when in doubt, ask around. That's one thing you can do. Click on the advice check at least this basic information and uh, before we leave off let's just add one last thing because i know someone will ask how do i get a storm falcon copy how do i get a queen of desert copy some heroes are a little bit rare to get which will require you to exchange them directly from the store 
faction store pretty much when it comes to those heroes they're a pain to actually build and collect they will take you even longer and for them you will need the faction crystal the faction crystal you will only gain it by using faction scrolls and summoning to do that you will need it from different events you will need it from different champion scenarios for instance here faction scroll and then you would actually hoard it collect it until you have enough of it which is gonna be 60 or 30 or 120 early in the game if you are patient a patient player you can actually just keep saving it up and then exchange for the copies you want and also this is here where you can build and actually exchange for the god slash hero universe selection one last thing if you really care about the god slash universe selection you can exchange for these specifically for and there are videos on the channel that talk about how you can actually get the essence and exchange for a copy of one of the god slash hero universe selections overall be patient and i wish you the best of luck all right guys thank you so much again and have a great day ahead